Prince Marian Dong makes a living by farming and selling oysters and cockles in Senegal's Fatak region. That's largely thanks to thousands of hectares of restored mangroves, which promote marine biodiversity and act as a protective barrier between the land and the sea. The project is led by the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, and the Senegalese government. They say it's helped more than 50,000 families in the region benefit from mangrove reforestation. Reforestation is very important. If the sea today has not taken our village, this is thanks to reforestation. If nothing had been done, the sea would have destroyed the village. When you reforest, you see the mud in the mangrove. The mud reduces the force of the sea. The sea can no longer attack the village. Just 10 years ago, things were very different. Many of these mangroves had disappeared. Africa has lost nearly 500,000 hectares of its mangroves due to drought, deforestation and construction in the last 25 years, according to the UN. They say Senegal is among the worst affected countries on the continent. Yotsna Puri is IFAD's Director of Environment. It's really important to uh, reforest um, and uh, reforest areas around Senegal with mangroves because mangroves really provide the last bastion of resilience in countries such as Senegal. Refor deforestation, road construction and other areas have led to the denudation of these kind of forested areas that have essentially meant that incomes have been lost by vulnerable communities. The project aims to reforest more than 1,000 hectares of mangroves in the next few years. And for farmers like Marianne, that could mean extra income to support their families.